difference. Y'all ain't no men's out ya. With all y'all wins of doctrine. Us y'all again, stop it. Multiple enemies rising. But we stay cool like dry fit. Against the truth, you will lose. Nothing you can do about it. This is an organization. Don't argue, stop wasting our dedicated time. Brothers want us to speak Hebrew, so say that in Hebrew. <laughs> Let me stop. Hey, purple on boots shining and we deep. Lazy kid. I don't really know much about y'all understanding, but I'm going to ask y'all later. John 3 and 1. Everything that we've been taught, this system has made. There's, many, so, there's so many different religions, so many philosophies out there. How do we know which one is the right one? Well, guess what? You have a book here that has prophecy that you can't say anything against this Bible. I guarantee you, you can challenge me if you want to, to find one false thing in it, and I guarantee you, you'll be wrong in your understanding. But that's where it takes for y'all to be able to humble yourselves to be reborn again in your mind. To be able to clean out all that junk that y'all been taught, dealing with being a moral, understanding Hebrew, that's something I want to deal with. It's trust me, it's junk. You know why I say it's junk? Because it won't teach you nothing about serving God. Right. I can learn how to serve God if you spoke to me in English. I just read one specific law that we know that the world is not doing, but if you do it, you're going to be following God the correct way. I don't need Hebrew for that. So again, how do I accomplish? How, how do you give the people today? We're doing it right now. As an example, we're reading the Bible, right? We got three people that's here. This video, I mean, this, this ain't just going here. This, you see that camera right there? This is going on YouTube. This is going on social media. We promote social media. We got brothers all across. This ain't just this right here. We got sisters too who believe in us walk. And guess what they do? And anytime in their freedom, they try to edify people by giving them a flyer and letting them know who they are, why they got these fringes on their shirts or their shirts. You see what I'm saying? Each one teach one and the world will start to comprehend this fight. Hold that real quick, get uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 14. I'm gonna show you a prophecy that will come to pass. I'm asking basically, how is this used in life in today's time? Say it again. How, how, how does this work in today's time at all? How does, so. Okay. When you go and apply for a job, what right. do you write down as your nationality? That part right there don't matter. That's just an example of me showing you that our when people don't know their nationality. Court, how, what do you describe yourself as your nationality? That's what I'm saying. That part right there doesn't matter. Well, whatever you, when you go to a job, you put out an application, you can do whatever the hell you want. That don't matter. The mind frame and you change your mind and your actions is what matters. Okay, what you see what I'm saying? You understand that? The problem with our people is a lot of our people are in the courts. We should know what we are in that sense. That's why I'm asking. All right, I'm going to help you out with that. I got you. I got you. I got you. We're good. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. So the objective is to get this gospel, the good news, out to the whole world. But like I say, it takes you young brothers to be able to be on one accord with this. Because if you have the knowledge and you're not teaching nobody, what partner would it really do for our people? Just like for you, what partner would I do for our people if you understand this but you're not teaching others? And you as an example, so not only can you teach people by your words, but you can teach them by your actions. I mean, yeah, by your actions and how you conduct yourself, how you dress. You know what I'm saying? Do you think in God's sight you're dressing morally correct? You, do you think in God's sight that you're dressing morally correct? Right, so that's the point. A lot of our sisters don't know. But now that I'm going to teach you, get Revelation 18 and 4. Now that I'm going to teach you, this is a way that you will break our nation from out of this system. That's the, so that's going to ask you a question right there, read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. So this is John the Revelator. He said, I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. What is he talking about? Coming out of the philosophies of America. In order to do that, you gotta be cleansed by the word of God. You gotta read the scripture, and you gotta be able to relieve all that junk from out of your mind and only do what the scriptures command you to do. Only believe what these scriptures command you to believe. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Because guess what? This world, they're gonna continue to keep and partake of the sins. That's the same thing that happened during Noah's time. That's the same thing that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. And God had to bring judgment on that city to show you that this is not what I'm looking for. That's why the Lord caused the flood to happen. You understand my point? Because society itself is going against God's word. 
but God is only looking for the remnant that are willing to do what he say do. Don't have no excuse for it. Don't find no other philosophy. But they only do, thus said the Lord. That way you won't be a partaker of the sins of America because you're doing what God tell you to do. Read. And that ye receive not of her place. Right, because judgment is coming to America. Whether we believe it or not, guess what? The same way how the Lord prophesied that the so-called blacks would come to over here to America on slave ships, that's in the scriptures. It's the same way how the Lord said judgment will happen to America and it be by nuclear fire, that will happen. That's without fail. So the only thing we can do is we can warn our people what's the right way to go, but it's up for y'all to be able to humble yourself to do what God tell you to do. Read. Verse five, for her sins have reached unto heaven. Because that's why you look, when you look at America, guess what? When you look at the people that's in captive, the people that's getting shot down in the street, that's our people. The slavery that happened to us, that's our people. The raping that they doing, the raping that they doing, that majority happened to our people. When they taking our young daughters and our young brothers and then they taking their organs and then they selling them on a the black market, that's happening to our people. There's so much sins that's happening here and the Lord has to bring judgment. But he's waiting for y'all to be able to get y'all spirit right first. Doing what the Bible say do, that's when the Lord gonna bring Christ to be able to bring judgment. Read. And God had remembered her sins, uh -huh. her iniquities. Uh -huh. That's it? My verse six? No, that's it, that's it. So you understand my point, right? It's not about what you do when you go to your job site in reference to an application. I only gave that as an example of the minds of our people. We don't know who we are. Right. John 3 and 1. Our people don't know. But it takes for you to be able to humble yourself. Even if you 50 years old, that 50 years of learning that you've learned, you have to deprogram yourself. Right. Because right. America taught you everything that's contrary to what you're supposed to do according to the Bible. Right. Everything contrary. What day is a Sabbath day? How are relationships supposed to be? How am I supposed to deal with my brother? You see what I'm saying? Who's the evil on this earth? It ain't y'all, even though media paints y'all like that. It's actually so-called white man. That's right. They the one That's that fed right. us lies dealing with white Jesus and keeping us in sin on how we eat and how our women dress. They, they allowed the music, they, they the one that have the agenda behind what music we listen to about murdering and killing each other. That's what we learned from them. Our real culture, that has nothing to do with us. We're supposed to know how to love each other, read. The book of John, chapter three, verse one. Uh -huh. yeah. no, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. So now I'm gonna give you a small example of how our mind frame need to be cleansed. So here you have a ruler of the Jews. He was a leader of our people. Now watch what he say, read. The same came to Jesus by night uh -huh. and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Right, all the miracles that Christ did, him preaching the gospel with so much authority, they realized that this was a man of God. They could say nothing against this man. So even the ruler of the Jews, him, he himself was like, I know that you a teacher sent from God. Read. I want to listen to what you say. Educate me. Read. For no man can do, can do these miracles that thou doesn't except God be with him. So no man can do these miracles and teach the way you teach except God could be with you. Read. Jesus answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, uh -huh. except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So Christ is telling him, except you be born again, and it's talking about in your mind, except you be cleansed of all that junk and you learn from the beginning like a little child dealing with this Bible, understanding how to read the scriptures, understanding what laws to apply in these scriptures, unless you do that, you cannot see the kingdom. The Lord will not allow you to be in the kingdom because he's not going to let you come in with all that junk that you know. I'm telling you, it's junk, sis. Why do you think, why do you hold, why do you say it's not junk? Oh, yeah, wait. I'm asking you, why you say it's not junk? When, uh, I, did, I think it's uh, 42 and uh, 22. All right. No, go ahead. Why you say it's not junk? Like I said, it's the on the law side. Oh, okay, so look, check this out. You, t you, you make a reference to the judicial system, right? To understand the judicial system, guess what? Uh, what's that way uh, frame of mischief by law? Read that real quick and then we're gonna come in. Psalms 94. Watch this, let me show you something. When you really look at this system, system, I'm gonna give you an example. In the 1980s and 90s, right? You had it to where the Black Panthers and all these different movements start to rise up, correct? I'm asking you a question. The Black Panthers, they started to rise up during the 1980s and 90s, right? That's a movement. I don't know if you knew that. Now that's a movement, right? So when they moved up, how did the uh, how did society destroy them? How did this system destroy them? Going to problem with us. They were just looked at as black extremists. Right, and then there's other things they did too. They put drugs and guns in our communities, and then they allowed us to be able to kill one another. But the point I'm making out of that, right? 
when they brought drugs into our community, what's the main drug that they dealt with with us to destroy it? Crack. But then guess what? When you understand at that same time, cocaine was very popular. Cocaine is a pure form of crack, correct? Yes, cocaine is a pure form of crack. So cocaine being a pure form of crack, the so-called white people today, I mean, at that point in time, that whole bunch of them had cocaine. Right. They was rolling around in it, and they was getting pulled over and everything. Guess how much time they got for cocaine? They only got like two weeks or so for cocaine. When a black person well, uh, get found with crack, guess how much time they end up getting? 15, 20 years. That's a system that was set up by the government here. Now watch this, read that. The Book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 20. No. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? which frame it mischief by a law. So the people that's controlling this society, when they created the laws, they created the laws against us. They frame it mischief by a law. So guess law what? The laws that you trust in has nothing to do with how our people our should operate. Y'all put us understand my point? Because I don't think the sister do. And I really want you to understand that crap, that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna get you nowhere near salvation with our people as a nation. Right, right. I don't care how you take it, but you gotta repent, sis. I'm gonna show you an example. You wanna deal with laws, let's deal with laws. Let's, uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Bring it up. Now, I'm going to show you an example of a law that if you apply, it'll be able to help this nation even more. As long as you label yourself. All you got to do is humble yourself and listen. Read. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Read. In like manner also, that women. So you a woman, right? Now watch what this law says. Read. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. What would you consider a modest apparel on women? Dress. What kind of dress? One that shows your knees and all that? Uh, like sundresses, I think. There you go. Right. So, let me ask you a question. So, is that a law that you're applying right there? No. Right. Now, what's the what's the uh, effect of you not applying that? Huh? Yeah, you send it, but what's the effect to our nation that you're not applying that and causing the effect to happen to our people? What effect are you causing to happen to this nation when you're not wearing modest apparel? My thing is going to affect it will. And how will it? I'm asking you how will it? Let's see if you have the technology to understand. Why not? Huh? You got a definition? All right, go ahead. This is a definition of modest to kind of help educate. Read. Modest. Definition three. Of a woman dressing or behavior, behaving so as to avoid impropriety or to, indecency. To avoid what? Impropriety or indecency. Read. Especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. So they sit right there to attra attract sexual attention. Let me ask you a question, sis. Do you agree? Is that the definition of modest? Yeah, that's the definition of modest, the, def the third definition of it. Now, do you agree that when women dress in an inappropriate way to where it's not modest, that it'll cause sexual attention to happen to men? Oh, yo, you couldn't answer that one, huh? You, you, With all the you, education you, you, you're that you, that the way that I'm dressed is going to is making so men look at me. Even the definition that itself tells you that the way a person dressed. Read it again. Yeah. Of a woman dressing or behaving so as to avoid impropriety or indecency, especially to avoid attracting Read. sexual attention uh -huh. of clothing. Clothing. Not revealing. Not what? If not revealing. Clothing not revealing. That's modesty, right. Reed. Or emphasizing uh -huh. the figure. Or emphasizing the figure. So that's, that's the definition right. we read. That's right. that's Bring the it definition out. definition we read. What are you getting mad for? Bring it out. Definition. And while you walking away, I'm going to educate y'all even further. On Bring it out. You Matthew 5. The, the book of Matthew. What's the Christ say? Chapter 5, verse 27. Bring it out. out. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, uh -huh. thou shalt not commit adultery. So it was said in the Old Testament not to commit adultery, right? Now watch what Christ, he bring more understanding to that law of not committing adultery. Right? Bring it out. But I say unto you uh -huh. that whosoever Look it on a woman. Whosoever do what? Look it on a woman. Read. To lust after her. To do what? Lust after her. Read. Had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Now, my question is, you want to get the kingdom, right? So you committed adultery, that'll prohibit you from getting the kingdom, right? So what would a sister be able to do to not help you look at her and lust after her by committing adultery? Right, not dress provocatively. That's simple. What that's the law that if we all apply that within our community, you that'll men stop adultery. That'll stop like that. rape. That's that'll stop a lot of these different things. But our sisters don't understand it because they can't humble themselves. 
Bring it up! Like, gives to Ezekiel 1644. Bring it up! I'll show you the detriment of when our children are being raised up. We gotta know as leaders on how to be able to raise our children up. That's why fathers have to be in the home. That's why mothers have to have the right mind frame of following their husbands, making sure that their household is in order. The book of Ezekiel! Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. The fact that you are still using the term black, knowing that it's a label to our people that is literally putting us under. So, sis, you dealing with something completely contrary or completely different than what I'm dealing with. <sighs> I'm dealing with a huge problem. Black is only a color. The prophets will describe this. That's right. That's, right. That's right. That's nothing. That, that is nothing that should bother exactly you. So. What should bother you is how the minds of our men and our sisters are destroyed and how we're dressing that way. That can, that can guess what? That That's can cause right. a lot of stumbling blocks in our community. Bring it up. That can cause a lot of problems. You might not think that's a big thing, but that's a big thing. Adultery happened because of that. That's Rape right. It happened because you of that. You guys wearing we, sundresses are making yeah, men. Do, okay. The book of Ezekiel. Do shit to you. Chapter 16, verse 44. So watch this. This is another example of what I was making reference to read. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs. What is a proverb? Do you have any like other like anything? Right, a wise saying. That's what a proverb is. So let's get a wise proverb. Do y'all have any group. other anything besides Behold, King James everyone that uses proverbs shall use this proverb uh, against thee. Read. Saying, as is the mother, as is the mother, read, so is her daughter. No, that's right. That's why it takes for us to be able to teach. Using guess what? I got a I got a young daughter. Sis, I got a young daughter. And guess what I do? I make sure that since she's been born out the womb, she has nothing but dresses on. Right. She don't have no pants. I make sure my wife understands her mannerism. That way, every time my daughter looks at her as a reflection of how she's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a godly reflection. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.